Well, praise the Lord, I am back after my rant about the president. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that, that's how I feel about him. But we do need to pray for him. Seriously pray for him. Things are going to happen. But what I'm teaching tonight is about the acacia, acacia tree. I had watched a a, a deal on um, one of the Christian programs, and this man was talking about the Ark of the Covenant that goes into Holy of Holies, and he was talking about how it was made. Acacia tree, you know, the wood, building the box, and then overlaid with pure gold. And then I had this strong feeling, well, what is acacia wood? What is it? And what is its meaning? And what is its purpose? You see, God did not choose just heifer stance stuff to make the temple tabernacle out of. There were specific reasoning in him choosing what he chose to tell Moses to use in making items in the tabernacle. Because they all have prophetic meanings to them. People just go back and they read the Old Testament and they don't look and see what the true meanings of certain things really mean. They just gloss over them and they lose the content of God's message and, and His codes in the Old Testament to us today. So I went and looked and let me read out of my Torah. I, I have a Torah, you know. Uh, and I, I want to read out of it, and it is in Exodus 25, beginning with verse 10. And this is God speaking to Moses. They shall make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubics long, and a cubic and half wide, and a cubic and a half high. So, it depends upon their measuring, because down here it has a brief statement. There were two types of cubics in Israel. One about 17 and a half inches, at about 45 and a half centimeters. The other about 20 and a half inches, about 52 centimeters. So, that would depend upon how big the box was. <clears throat> that... Moses had to build. Let's go on. Verse 11. Overlaying it with pure gold. Pure gold. Pure gold means that it's went through the furnace to the point all the dross is taken off. And I'll explain that more. But believe me, how they clean gold and make pure, pure gold is they put it through a furnace. All of the the nasty residue will come to the top, you skim it off. You let it harden, then you do it again. And you do it again until you come to a point there's nothing that comes up. It's just pure gold, period. Nothing, no settlements, no nothing, no dark stuff, no nothing is in it but pure, pure gold. And that's how you get pure gold. It has to go through the fire, okay? Okay, overlaying, overlaid with pure girl, overlaying in inside and outside, make, and make upon it a golden mold round about. Cast four golden rings for it to be attached to it four feet. Two rings on one of its sides walls and two on the other. Make poles of acacia wood, 
you know, also, and overlap them with go, and then insert them, insert the poles into the ring on the side of the walls of the arc for carrying the arc. The poles will remain in the rings of the arc that shall not be removed from it. And disposit in the arc, the ta you know, put in the arc, the tablets of the parts which I will give you. And then it goes on and talks about the cherubs. But as I was studying this, and I went and I looked up Cacia wood, and it showed it in places, especially Africa, when you it's a long body. It's not big and fat like my maple trees out here in the front yard. It's a long body, but with many, many branches, and they just kind of like come up and hover over the top, almost making a crown on top of the tree. But let's, and it has silvery green feather-like type leaves, and is, and it is an evergreen, meaning it. It's evergreens are green winter and summer long and it's bloom and it blooms all year around and it is a thorny tree much like our locust trees here in America uh, you know one time mama and daddy and I went swimming down there on the creek and there's a locust tree and I didn't see it and I was barefooted and I walked along and one of the limbs had fell and I got a locust thorn into my foot and it broke off well dad couldn't get it out and had to take the doctor and the doctor had to literally cut it out but a piece of the top broke off and eventually one time I seen something growing out of between my toes and it was that piece of thorn that had broke up they're very painful believe me I found out the hard way so you don't want to walk around these kind of trees barefooted ever but anyway and they're pod bearing and they're gum yielding products inside the tree now mean the Greek meaning for uh, this tree is a roll or a bag full with dust symbolizing immortality and resurrection and I found that interesting the meaning symbolizes a roll or a bag full with dust is that not what our bodies are made out out of dust isn't that skin, you know, it's kind of like a roll or a bag filled with dust. This is the body. And it says it symbolizes immortality or and resurrection. We will be resurrected from the dead one day. And when we're resurrected and put on our new body, we will be immortal. Never die. Live forever. Now, it's not, not unique thinking that God would choose a Pacific wood that would represent the dust of the earth and immortality and resurrection. Hmm a symbol of something that was going to happen in the future to his children, to his people. That we will, after we die, will be resurrected on that resurrected day and we will have an immortal body. I thought that was unique when I was studying that, that he would specifically use a wood to make the box out of 
that would represent immortality and resurrection. What would happen one day with us? Also, as I went on and, and studied it, I found that uh, that the gum that is produced or yielded by this tree is primarily used in food industrial as a stabilizer. Um, if you look on your packages and you see this number E414, that's what that, that is. It's the gum of the acacia tree. E414 is the number for this product that's used in food. It's used in lithogram, painting, uh, printing, and paint products, glue, uh, cosmetics, and various industrial applications. Uh, it also is what controlled in an inks and it's also used in textile industri industries. It is also a food product. Makes a chilled, sweetened, and um, flavored jelly-like dessert. Um, it's used in soft drinks, syrups, gummy gummy candy like gummy bears marshmallows m and m ooh, i like m and m's uh cake decorations agents and also a wine fermenting agent so but the substance the glue the gun the, the gum that is yielded in these tree that tree and and uh, and if you tap into it and you bring it out you can use this product as a food source in in your food I thought wow now that's unique okay it represents a bag or a roll filled with dust also symbolizes immortality and resurrection it also is in used in so many products not only food products and even clothing products uh, it's used in many many products also uh, the seed, because it has a seed pod, it has little seeds in it, uh, can be used as cooking oil. Oil from the flower, now that you, they, it has beautiful flowers, it says mostly yellow and sometimes white or creamy color. You, the oil from the flowers is used for flavoring and for medicine action and use um and if and and it can be used green when the seed pods are green eaten raw or roasted uh also it's uh can be roasted and ground up uh into flour and mixed with a little water and eaten as a paste or cooked as a porridge or a mash and it's got a nutty flavor it shows great promise as a new human food source so God chose the Asher wood or a, 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 let me respell it to you I don't think I'm saying it right A C A C I A wood to build this with all these symbols in it a source of food, a source of medicine, a a product that you can make things with, you know, clothes of some sort. <coughs> but but th this tree has many uses in it, rep representing the stable function for life itself. So he had Moses to take this tree and make a box out of it and make 
poles out of it for him and his glory because the Ark of the Covenant has a seat on it where God sits on. When God's ascended out in to the tabernacle, when they were out in the desert, he would literally send down into the Holy of Holies. And they said that when he would come, you could see the tabernacle breathe. You know, Perry Stone talked about the breath of the holiness, holies, but it would literally breathe. And he would come down and sit upon, well, I mean, not the whole God, but you know, his spirit set upon that seat between the two cherubs on the Holy of Holy, the box, the box the ark the ark of the covenant he would sit there it was his seat that he would sit there this wood was a pacific pacific code telling us that he would take care of us that he would feed us he would clothe us he would nourish us physically in health with the medicine of his loving kindness and goodness providing for us that box has so many symbols and that's why he chose it and also representing us for we are the bags full of dust this body because once this body dies, it goes back to the dust of the earth. We don't take it to heaven with us. We don't even take it to hell with us if we happen to go there. This body right here, when it dies, decays and goes back to the dust of the earth. For that's what it is full of, the dust of the earth. But in it, in the very meaning of this wood, it is eternal life, resurrectional life. That one day that we would be resurrected and have an immortal body put upon us. Made of pure gold, refined. Because the wood itself was covered with pure gold refined pure gold no debris no nothing in it but pure 100 percent gold covered do you not understand that is what is happening to us now we are being covered with refined gold We are becoming the Ark of the Covenant, the seat of God. When the Holy Spirit, the Ruh Kadesh, comes down and sits down within us, we are like that Ark of the Covenant, holding the very holiness and presence of God. Now, there were specific things that God had said that they, he had, they had to put in that box. That box carried the Ten Commandments. It also carried the staff of Aaron that budded in the desert. Letting us know that we are chosen by God himself this bag of bones, this bag of dust, is chosen by God and covered by Him in His holiness and His glory. And as I begin to see this and know that this tree is an amazing representation of God's goodness and glory to us to provide for us 
a symbol of eternal life that he is giving to us through his son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Because, let me tell you, that gold that is refined through fire is Yeshua himself covering that box in the Holy of Holiness whenever that ark is carried in and set down was what happened when Yeshua, after he had paid that price for us on the cross and died, went down and carried our sins to hell and he come back up and he went to the Father. He was refined and he was pure gold, covering us with his blood and that pure refining gold, refining us into his likeness and into his measure. I'm going to put some things about the acacia wood. I, w I would like for you to read it and study it. I, I am sure there are more meanings in this than what even I am seeing right now. Because this tree alone can supply all our needs. It really can. We can build a house out of it. We can put it in food to preserve it. We can take it as food and make food out of it and eat it. We cannot even imagine the purpose that God has prepared for us in his kingdom. And when he comes down and he sits down upon us through the Rukadesh, the Holy Spirit, when he begins to lead us in his son, Yeshua, purifying us as pure gold, covering us, stabilizing us, nurturing us, cleansing us, taking care of all of our medical needs, taking care of all of our food needs, taking care of every need that we can possibly have. This tree represents, this tree represents the very Son of God Himself reaching out to us because it is a thin tree but made of many branches that come uh, out of it. Yeshua is the vine, that thin tree with the many branches coming out from Him. We are the branches. We are the branches that are coming out and capping up as a crown above his head to the glory of God the Father that loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son so that we can have ever everlasting life, that we can be resurrected and have everlasting life. We are being formed, the body of Christ, the bride is being formed into that glorious realm, that glorious, that glorious tree that is planted in the heavenly realm under the covering of Yeshua HaMashiach. We are becoming the Ark of the Covenant. And within us are placed the Ten Commandments. Because in Hebrews it says that He is the embodiment of the commandments. 
And by us becoming one with him, we are becoming the embodiment of the commandments that lays in that Ark of the Covenant. It is in us. We are the keepers of the covenant, as the Ark of the Covenant was. Aeneas. We are that people that the Ru Kadesh, the Holy Spirit, comes down and sits upon. Just like when the tabernacle and God ascended down into the cloud and the smoke and the fire and came down into the tabernacle, into the Holy of Holies and sat upon the Ark of the Covenant. That's what he does today. When he ascends down upon us, and covers us and sets within us, filling our heart and purifying us, placing his commandments with us for safekeeping. There are many, many, many examples in the tabernacle that point to Yeshua HaMashiach and to us. Those that are called and chosen and, re and being redeemed and called out from this world. Because you cannot be part of the world and part of the redeemed. You are, you are either one or the other. I pray that the that you realize who you truly are and that you you start standing as the Ark of Covenant for his glorious 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 purpose here on this earth that is full of darkness we are the light and the salt of this earth we are the acacia tree that stands to feed the congregation out there, the righteousness of God. We need to know that we are in the process of being remade, reformed, re repurified into His likeness. I hope that you studies about the cash tree. Bless you. I know this is a short teaching, but I just felt led to teach this. And I am sure others will see even deeper meanings in this about the purifying of the gold and the cash tree. Why it had to be made out of this tree. Because this tree supplies all of humanity's needs. Blessings in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. And what is his purpose? You see, God did not choose just heperstant stuff to make the temple tabernacle out of. There were specific reasoning in him choosing what he chose to tell Moses to use in making items in the tabernacle. Because they all have prophetic meanings to them. People just go back and they read the Old Testament and they don't look and see what the true meaning in a half cubic long and a cubic and half wide, and a cubic and a half high. So it depends upon their measuring, because down here it has a brief statement. There were two types of cubics in Israel. One about 17 and a half inches, at about 45 and a half centimeters, the other about 20 and a half inches, about 52 centimeters. So, 
that would depend upon how big the box was. A deal on um, one of the Christian programs, and this man was talking about the Ark of the Covenant that goes into Holy of Holies. And he was talking about how it was made. Acacia tree, you know, the wood, building the box, and then overlaid with pure gold. And then I had this strong feeling, well, what is acacia wood? What is it? And what does this mean is of certain things really mean? They just gloss over them and they lose the content of God's message and, and His codes in the Old Testament to us today. So I went and looked. And let me read out of my Torah. I, I have a Torah, you know. Uh, and I, I want to read out of it. And it is in Exodus 25, beginning with verse 10. And this is God speaking to Moses. They shall make an ark of acacia wood to... Well, praise the Lord, I am back after my rant about the president. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that, that's how I feel about him. But we do need to pray for him. Seriously pray for him. Things are going to happen. But what I'm teaching tonight is about the acacia, acacia tree. I had watched a a 